just spoke yep. um, about uh, computing should be as simple as yep. um, uh, flicking on a light switch. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I talked with some people at Nutanix last year, and what surprises me how the concepts, your concepts, are catching fire, and you see them all over the place. I was just wondering, how does it feel to see something you know, that you've started and other people claiming it, putting it also in the proposition? How, how does that work? How does it feel? First of all, thank you. Thank you for having us here. It's a fantastic event. I enjoyed my conversation. I liked the view with the four sites being projected and all of that stuff. Yeah, I mean, onto it, I've been one of the early believers in Nutanix. And um, I think every innovation cycle go through three phases. Uh, builders, scalers, and maintainers. You know, they just go through that cycle. And that's never changed. What has changed uh, is the cycle of innovation. Usually this uh, peak and valleys used to take around 10 years. Companies like NetApp. Yeah. NetApp took 10 years to build a waffle and they had a built-in $6 billion company on that product from 1998. Uh, VMware, same thing, 2003 to 2013, they built an amazing technology. I don't think the companies of the future have that kind of luxury. These things are changing so fast. You see it already with the, the iPad in three years over past Absolutely. PCs. Same thing, Blackberry, they used to be the king of the hill. Over a period of three, four years, they became $7 billion company from $50 billion company. So in that context, what Nutanix is doing to disrupt data centers by software defined data center, it's a big market. It's a 50 to $70 billion market. I don't think it is realistic for any company, like Nutanix for example, to expect to be the be all end all of that market. There will be competition. There will be good product from good companies trying to catch up. But the important word is the catch up part. And this again goes back to my other view, which is the big companies, the best companies of the futures, future will never stop innovating. You can never sit back on an innovation and say, that's going to build a company for the next 10 years. That's not going to happen anymore. VMware, NetApp, those stories are 1990s and 2000. From 2010 onwards, everything is happening so fast. You're as good as your last innovation. Absolutely, right? and that innovation has to be constant and relentless. So Nutanix, we appreciate the validation that's coming from the market. HP, VMware, Cisco, EMC, they're all trying to come up with product and they're trying to catch up. Shame on us if we let them catch up. The challenge is on us to make sure that we continue the pace of innovation, the velocity, the quality of innovation and stay ahead of the market. And, and in that respect, um, things are, are going fast if yep. you compare it with last year. Um, can, you, can you relate to the data center director yep. or manager who sees this concept of, of the, the, the virtualization and, and the software defined data center, but sometimes has problem at placing the various propositions of the hardware vendors, the software vendors, the virtualization vendors, seems to be overlap. It's, it's yep. not easy to grasp what is in essence a simple concept. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. And this is an important point for vendors like us to understand. Uh, it's important to have the empathy for the data center op operator, the CIO. Uh, it's not like they are starting their business from a clean slate. They can't just wipe everything they have and say, I'm going to go software defined data center. Any solution that is trying to capture the market, they have to figure out a good entry point and they have to figure out a good integration point. So Nutanix, at Nutanix, our approach has always been to find a use case that makes sense for them. A greenfield project, a project that is coming for refresh, or a project that is significantly suffering because of performance. Put a product out there and make sure the post-sales support, the efficiency, the manageability, the simplicity, all those things provide them a holistic experience. So you don't die in the legacy, but, but you score in yeah. the green field. And once you provide the holistic experience, the customer knows now that this product, this people, this technology is here to stay. And once they get that feeling, they will figure out how to land and expand the product. And that is why 72% of Nutanix customers repeat within 12 months. But that's a great insight. What you're Absolutely. saying is you can talk yeah. about these concepts and light switches, but you have to you have to prove to them that it works, that it's, it's not easy. an empty concept. Absolutely, it's easy. First product, it's easy to do if you have a good sales team. But the second buy, the third buy, the fourth buy, that doesn't happen unless the product delivers and most importantly, customer support delivers. 
And this is where Nutanix is trying to differentiate from the other vendors. For example, any converged infrastructure vendor, let's say VC, good company, backed by really great companies, EMC, VMware, Cisco, they all have good technology and support, but they don't own everything. But as in Nutanix, whether the entire stack is provided by us, so the onus is on us. So it could be a threat or an opportunity. We look at it as an opportunity to provide the customers end-to-end -end support, so they get peace of mind. It's, it's funny because it also says something you related to and other speakers too, is that if you will, the consumerization of IT, where they, people want their data center to resemble an iPhone, uh, basically. This is an interesting point. If you remember just four years ago, it used to be a point of pride in data centers to say, I'm not a UI guy, I'm a CLI guy, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a Unix guy, I'm a... And you have all these Cisco diplomas and, and I certifications. Like my CLI stuff. And they used to think like uh, superior, but now if you think about this, people don't have time or nor do they get paid to actually go and see a life. They just want to get the stuff done. And that is in part accelerated by Apple and the ease of use. People start thinking, you know what, my right brain needs more exercise too. I need visual, easy to appear, so I can focus on higher level application level stuff. Good. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you. I'm looking forward to John Kinnevan. Yep. Also, uh, and Lights. So, well, have a great day, and I'm thank sure. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot.